Hey guys and welcome back to another formal makeup look. So I'm going to start off with my bare skin. I don't know if I will do a foundation routine. Still thinking about it. Um, but I did already do like a foundation routine kind of thing in my last formal video. Which will be linked up here if you'd like to check it out. But it's going to be more focused on the eye look. And I am going to use tape today hence why I haven't done the base of the face. I feel like it would be fun to do like a little update video with you guys who so haven't done a chat, like chit chatty tutorial with you guys for a little bit, like for a hot minute. And I'm excited to just chat with you guys again. So yeah. So without further ado, I guess let's get straight to the face. Mm. So I am just going to grab here a little bit of sticky tape. Always like to soften it on the back of my hand so it's not so harsh on the eyes. Sorry, I'm out of shot. I did think about doing my brows first and then I just didn't so I mean you can totally do your brows first with this look probably smart to do your brows first but I didn't I'm going to actually take the MAC soft ochre paint pot um, to prime my eyelids and I'm actually just taking a little egg show uh, crease brush large crease brush to buff in the paint pot so yeah I have just set up a little uh, makeup artistry website thing. I like ummed and art about it for a little while uh, just because I wasn't sure you know I have a lot of anxiety around like starting new things and I do love doing makeup as you guys can tell like I love doing the videos for you guys I love creating different looks and my partner actually like pushed me to you know, jump out of my comfort zone and actually do it. So I'm very grateful to him. So I did start up my own little website. If you guys, like I said, would like to check it out. All of the links and stuff will be down below. For all the products I use today as well as like my website and things. But yeah, I have a few bookings which is super, super exciting. Uh, I can't wait to actually like really start to launch it properly. Like I've only had a few availabilities. Uh, just because I am working my other couple jobs on the side too. So I don't really have a lot of availability at the moment. But starting next year, uh, I will. So that's super exciting. I can't wait for the new year to roll around. And I can really start to focus on my makeup artist business instead. Since that's actually like something I actually want to do long term. Rather than just different jobs here and there. I'm starting to get a little bit of direction in my life which is like such a relief since like I feel like the last couple of years I've been quite like anxious and just not sure I didn't have a lot of clarity on what I wanted to do for the future so having this little project is actually kind of giving me a new drive a new bit of clarity on like where I want my life to kind of go especially like you know how you guys are coming to an end with high school some of you with your formal I don't know with me like I was like oh, I'll take a gap year and I'll travel and I'll do this but I guess with COVID and everything you can't really travel like do you have a bit of anxiety or do you have a bit of worry or just uncertainty around like what you're going to do next year like let me know I've literally spent the last like five years or so like just kind of going with the flow not really having a lot of direction after high school because I didn't want to go to university I knew I didn't want to study anything or I hadn't had, I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to study I didn't just want to go to uni for the sake of it so it's kind of nice now to have a little bit of an idea but yeah let me know what you guys want to do with your life after high school you know where do you see yourself going do you have an idea do you not it's okay if you don't kind of take it by ear and see what happens you know anyways let's get back to the actual look sorry for the ramble so i'm going to just chuck a bit of like transition color through the crease and out of v and i'm just taking my usual two favorite transition color shadows from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm smudging it along the lash line to kind of start off that smoky liner look and through the crease just about halfway across the lid and just taking it up along that tape and bringing it back through the crease so I'm thinking about doing like a kind of pink smoky eye with a bit of jewels and stuff I know I did a pink smoky eye for my previous formal look um, but this is going to be a little bit different uh, you can switch up the colours to purple, blue, green na like neutral colours sorry if you'd like to do something more neutral uh, if you are wearing a very bright dress or even like a red dress or something with like a red lip and like a neutral smoky eye would be beautiful anyway 
Uh, I'm just going to do pink today, but you guys can definitely switch up the colours to something else if you prefer. So I'm going to take Sissy on an Eggshow eyeshadow brush and just pack that all over my lid uh, for the initial kind of lid shadow. Um, and then I will buff it out just with a clean kind of fluffy brush, just so it's a little less harsh. Okay, next for like the pink actual like smoky wing liner look, I'm going to take this beautiful kind of like magenta pink, I would say, on a pencil brush and just start creating that smoky wing look. And I'm probably just connecting it to the center of my eye. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the inner corner. And then again, going back in with some of that um, clean blender brush and just softening the edges. So next I'm actually going to take this kind of deep burgundy shadow on the same pencil brush. I'm just going to wiggle that quite tightly against the tape and just blending it into that more magenta pink shadow. Just intensifying it a little bit more. Uh, I think something like that will do, you know? Just a bit simple. I didn't want to make this look like uber complicated for you guys. I feel like most of my looks are pretty complicated so I was like, I'll make it a little bit more simple today. So I'm just going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone uh, which is like the and light shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm obsessed with that shadow as like an inner corner and brow bone highlight. It just goes with so many looks. It's so versatile. And I'm just hitting the highest point of the brow and I'll just blend it out softly with that kind of crease brush that we used before. And that's kind of like a little something of what you should kind of have at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape. Oh, isn't she crisp? Isn't she beautiful? Uh, and obviously clean up everything under here. Do my base makeup and everything like that. I'll just show you first the lashes that I want to go in with today. So I'm going to go in with these bad boys right here. This is the... Um, lashes from Ilo in the most wanted collection um, but these are in the style you want it I believe or maybe lush crush no I'm gonna say you want it it's these style anyways these bad boys right here so I'm just gonna quickly pop those on like I said finish the base makeup and brows and everything like that and I'll show you my lips and maybe like the rest of the face but I'll just do like the base you know what I mean so I'll be right back, honey. Mm. So I'm back. Uh, these are the lashes on. And like you can see, I've already done my base. I went in with my raw camo foundation. And I also went in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And then I set my face with the Zooey nutmeg foundation which i've been actually loving as like a bronzer uh slash like face setter <laughs> face powder kind of thing just because it's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone at the moment because i am not tanned whatsoever i love it to like just give me a bit of color to the skin but still looks super natural and not too intense uh, but i will show you the rest of like the face and the eyes and all that kind of jazz now so next I'm just going to take my nude eye curl and place that in my waterline. Honestly, you can use a brown, black, whatever you'd like to use. White might be a little bit too harsh, so I probably wouldn't recommend that one. But a nude is like the perfect thing to really open up the eyes and it's quite flattering and soft. I just think a brown and a black would be a little bit too dark and smoky, especially if you want something quite flattering and like natural i guess i mean like let's be real this isn't not a natural look but it's like a soft glam look and i think soft glam's gorgeous for like proms and formals and things like that mm, i love a good nude so to finish off the eyes i'm literally just keeping it so simple on the bottom lash line i'm just going to take that uh deep burgundy shadow and mix it in with a bit of the magenta and i'm just taking that underneath my bottom lash line just about halfway, maybe a little bit more, two thirds, let's say two thirds of the way across uh, to complement that kind of cat eye shape that we've created and connecting it to the smoky wing. So it's thickest on the outer corner, tapers in towards the inner corner. And then with just a touch, just a touch of that magenta shadow, I'm just going to soften the edges, the edges with a little pencil brush. 
but again I'm not taking it too far under the bottom lash line I'm not a big fan of a super smoky bottom lash line like that's just not my kind of cup of tea but each to their own if you like a really intense bottom smoky lash line then you do you boo mm. yep that's the stuff then just taking a touch of faint I'm going to apply that on the bottom inner corner kind of lash line that'll do donk it that'll do okay so next I'm gonna bejewel my eyes I just feel like that would be so fun for like a prom or formal look. It's going to be like a wearable bejeweling though. Like I'm not going to do something like where like it's just like raining down diamantes and like glitter and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm actually just going to take this kind of craft choice bling. And I'm going to just kind of dot them along my eyes. You'll see. And I'm just going to take the NYX glitter glue. And then I'll use like little tweezers to apply them around my eyes, just here and there. So I use the littlest ones just along the bottom lash line, like I said. And then I'm going to go in with like the next size up, which is like these ones. And do those along the brow bone. While I'm doing this, I might even just update you guys on like the rest, I guess what else is happening in my life, I guess. Honestly, I'm such a numb nut. I, I literally tore my ligaments again recently so I'm in this sexy moon boot so I was playing soccer the other day I did this like um social kind of soccer thing and we were just playing and I tore the ligaments in my ankle same ankle that I did a couple years ago as well and as soon as I did it I knew that I'd torn them I was like you've got to be kidding me so I get to spend the next couple weeks in this gorgeous moon boot which is all right like it's actually pretty comfortable considering like my ligaments are torn but I just was a bit frustrated because I have to take time off work because I can't work in a boot legally in the job that I do so I've just been chilling at home I mean it's given me a good excuse to like get back into YouTubing and stuff again because I have been so busy uh, just with working life all that kind of jazz but I was a little frustrated because now I can't play soccer. Oh, now I lost a bead too. But I have come to accept the situation now. And to be fair, I just laugh at myself. Like, of course I did the same ankle again. Like, all the things to do. I did the same injury that I did a few years ago. Although, thank goodness, this time it's not as bad. So I'm actually seeing the little, like, silver lining to this. is It's only a couple weeks and, like, maybe six weeks rehab. Whereas last time I did it, I like completely tore two of the ligaments and then half of another one. And that took like six months to kind of get back to normal. Oh, it just took so long and I'm not sure why. But I'm just glad that it's not going to be as long of a process or hopefully not as long of a process as it was last time. And I can still do the gym. Which makes me so happy. So I can just do like upper body stuff, you know? But yeah, I guess that's like what's going on in my life at the moment. Like, otherwise I've just been working a lot. I'm sorry I have been quite slack with uploading. I don't want to be. Just right now has been super, super packed. Um, but I do want to get back into posting at least once a week, if not more. That's me in a nutshell lately. So I hope you enjoyed that little update. <laughs> what do you think? Is it a bit much? I mean, you can definitely just leave the three tiny ones on the bottom lash line. But I know. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the brow look. <laughs> this is the raw mascara. It's the volumizing one. And like I said, I just did a light coat of that. Because I don't want to, like, hide. Like, I don't want my lashes to be too, like, bold and hide the little diamantes. Okay, let's finish off the rest of the face. I do want quite a glowy, dewy look. And to kind of give a bit more colour to the cheeks, I feel like this is a very, like, pinky, feminine look. I mean, that's what I said with my last look, but I can do two, can't I? So I'm going to take Dusk, which is this actual, it's actually like a lip paint from Fat in the Moon, which is like a natural makeup brand as well. But I'm going to use it as a cheek tint today. We, and I will go over with a powder, but I'm just going to use this first, because it's such a beautiful colour. I'm just going to tap tap it onto the contours of the cheeks. Can do the apples, but I'm definitely more of a contour kind of girl. 
think it slims up the face a bit more. It just suits my face shape a bit more. Like, a bit better. Now, you can probably go a little bit more ham on the blush than usual. Just because blush does tend to fade throughout the night. And then I'm going to take the two highlights from the same brand, Fat in the Moon. They're stunning. I'm obsessed. And they look really good over powder. Like, we've already used the powder bronzer. But these products sit really well over like powder or normal skin, like on anything, which I really like, because I find some cream products can go blah over powder. It just, it's not cute. So I'm going to take a little bit of Lit, which is this beautiful kind of rosy tone highlight, and I'm actually going to apply that over top. You know, I was thinking, maybe I should have done this over top of the powder blush that I'm going to go in with next, so I might actually do that. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with the powder blush. I'm going to take this one from Makeup Geek. It's the Infatuation Blush. I haven't used this in a hot minute. And it's really pigmented, so just keep that in mind. Don't use too much. I'm just going to lightly, lightly dust that over the cheeks. And the bit of the nose. Like, I just like that look. But you don't have to. Then taking Lit again. And just applying Lit over the top. This would be a nice Valentine's Day look if you were, like, I don't know, going to party or you know you just really like diamantes <laughs> you could just leave the diamantes out and just do like the eyeshadow and i think that would look really pretty and then finally i'm taking this stunning stunning highlight called beam on my finger just kind of warm it up a little bit and then tap away like i said these products sit so well over powder which like to me is just awesome like i've not found something that's natural as well like this these products are made from like natural ingredients like plants and things and they're just so pigmented they last so well and they sit so well over top of like your powder foundation or your powder blushes bronzers face powders like you name it they sit so well over it oh isn't that just such a stunning highlight guys i'm obsessed it's so nice mm. i even wear this like literally just for an everyday glow like literally no other makeup just this obsessed it's just so good and to intensify that glow because i want to be extra you definitely don't have to do this like honestly this would be enough like if i was going to my own formal i'd leave it with just that highlight but and i want to show you guys like an extra step that you can do to give it a real intense glow so i'm taking my Focalore highlighting palette and i'm going to take some of the pink and some of the bronzy tone and just mix those together and apply that over the cheekbones. Just the cheekbone areas. I'm going to leave everywhere else untouched. But I just want something a little bit more just for the cheeks. And maybe the um, tip of the nose as well. I love a little shining light on the tip of the nose. Okay. So for lips, I honestly need to get a new lip liner. This one is like beyond beyond repair it's just gone she's too small now but i'm taking this natural lip liner from rimmel in the shade 049 natural and i'll slightly slightly overdraw them also filling them in i think it's important to definitely fill in your lips if you're going on like a date night or like you are going to be eating drinking smooching all that kind of stuff It'll just help the colour last longer because you have like a barrier underneath. So even if your lipstick does wipe away, the lip liner is still there. So for lip colour, I'm taking a pinky nude tone. Surprise, surprise. This is my Pale Plethora Liquid Lip. And I'm just kind of painting that more on the centre of the lips. And just fading it out. I want that to be quite like a pouty look. So I want the most of it, like the most pigmented part to be... The center of my lips just like that and then finally taking one of my favorite lip glosses this is a napoleon purdis lip gloss in the shade pink this is just their sample size but honest to god it's so good it just looks amazing on the lips and this concludes today's formal kind of glam makeup look i guess so i hope you guys enjoyed today's look Please let me know down below what you think, uh, if you like it or not. I do like hearing your feedback so I can kind of judge on what looks you like to see and what you don't really like to see. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you all so, so much. And yeah, 
I'll see you soon. How great formal if you are going to your prom or your formal. Oh, it's such a great night. I remember mine. So I hope you guys have a great night too. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.